John and Heather. We are the champions. Can't say that enough. It feels <laughs> good. Gold Knights waking up as Stanley Cup champions this morning. Or still up from last night. Hard to say. More <laughs> than 19,000 folks packed T-Mobile Arena last night. The largest crowd in Golden Knights history. Uh, I had the pleasure of being there, which was, uh, I'm not, I'm not, somewhere, I'm somewhere in that somewhere area. Somewhere yeah. way over there. <laughs> well, we've got team coverage this morning. After all the celebrations went late into the night. What's next? Lauren Negretti joining us live near Caesars to show us what the players and the cup got up to last night. Candace Charles joining us outside of City National Arena. We're getting ready for some new championship merch. But first, Ron Futrell in studio this morning. And you've got a recap, Ron, <laughs> of the big win. Love it. Right out the rally towels, okay, from, from last night. By the way, gentleman sweep is what it was. That means you let them win one game, the Florida Panthers, and you win it in five is what the Knights did. This was sort of interesting last night. Coach Bruce Cassidy starts five of the original six. They were called misfits back in the day, the original Knights. Marcia So, Riley Smith, William Carlson. Shea Theodore was in that mix along with Braden McNabb. William Carrier also on that team from 2018 can't start six guys, skaters at least. A win by the Knights in the Stanley Cup is theirs or ours. Mark Stone, that goal gets better the more I watch it. Fun goal right there. Nice win going away. 9-3. This one was over early. At this point, it's all over, but the celebrating, there was plenty of that. Here's a little bit of that fun skating around the ice for the Vegas Golden Knights. This party, this fun, this celebration is still going on around town right now with the players. I talked to some of them after the game. I don't know how much I'll remember about the hockey itself, but uh, I'll certainly remember this group and the, and the memories that, that we've shared through, you know, throughout this year and you know, the ones that we're going to make later on this week. You can't re recreate this feeling. You can't, you know what, it's thankful for, for everyone that's helped me along my journey too, right? And you know, a lot of us hockey players and, and people in the sport, we don't get here without our support systems. And How does this feel for you? It feels amazing. I mean, their GM was the one that traded me here. I guess it's kind of come full circle. Uh, it feels great. I mean, you look at all the loved ones out here. This is the best feeling in the world. And we're going to remember this forever. Not only being in history on this thing, but with one another, it's the best. Getting their names on the cup. As promised, here's Chandler Stevenson, his wife and little oh. one. Okay. <laughs> in the cup right there. Oh, of course. And get those pictures of that great moment right there yeah. with the guys. And, and congratulations. The cup, the cup, by the way, is heavy. 35 pounds? Oh, oh I got the chance. Uh, they, they said, Ron, you want to lift it? I said, no. Why would I want to do that out on the ice? Uh -huh. Oh, so I did. Okay. <laughs> of course. And the picture on the left is Denver 1990 National Championship by the Rebels. And I do want to make this point here with this, of how this town is united, the feeling that we all have with the championship. It was like that. Those locals that have been here for a long time remember 1990 when the Rebels won it all against Duke, a blowout win. Yes. That still stands historic yeah. with 30 point win. Last night, a blowout win. We up by six goals. Yeah. 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 If we so, make this a tradition, we can live with that. Yeah, keep it up, guys. <laughs> this, this Maybe a little sooner. <laughs> this team's going to be good for a long time, folks. Yeah. Oh, they're solid. How's it's that? amazing. They, yeah, we, their synergy last night. How about a World Series win in five years? Well, we've got to get ahead. We're going to get a team. Yeah. Okay. We've got a Super Bowl coming up here. Jerry's thinking big. <laughs> also, Chris Matthews.